Hi there. Welcome back. Very glad to have you. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention issued its first travel warning to avoid an American neighborhood. At least 10 individuals from the Miami area have been infected with the Zika virus, and that, of course, can cause birth defects if contracted by pregnant women. So what can we do as a nation to heal the world, and what should we do as travelers? Let's ask Dr. Joseph Alton. He is the author of the Zika virus handbook. A doctor explains all you need to know about the pandemic. Welcome, Dr. Alton. Well, thanks for having me, Kennedy. Uh, I'm very curious to hear about the Zika, and I'm wondering how serious is it and how much of this is hype and hysteria? Well, this is actually pretty serious from the standpoint of the first locally transmitted cases in the United States. This is a big problem because it means that we have the ability now or, or the tendency now to have clusters of all sorts of Zika cases in a lot of warm weather states, and yeah. I believe that you're going to see a number of these. The CDC also says so. All right, so how do you treat it? I mean, a lot of people are talking about DDT and the TPP. Is there anything that we've gotten in our arsenal that has perhaps fallen out of favor that will actually be effective against these monstrous mosquitoes? Well, DDT was certainly useful, but it also did a lot of environmental damage. DEET. However, DEET is a perfectly fine and safe, effective uh, mosquito repellent, even for pregnant ladies, along with EPA-approved oil of lemon eucalyptus, picaridin, and IR3535. This is something that you need to do. You need to have light, loose clothing. Yeah. You need to have long sleeves. And you need to stay indoors when at all possible, especially in the neighborhood that's affected. So it's interesting. So it's only a, a small neighborhood within Miami. Should people be avoiding Miami altogether? No, I don't believe that's the case. It really has been localized to a one square mile square uh, right north of downtown Miami. Yeah. The rest of the rest of South Florida is absolutely clear. And I just think that as a precaution, I think people should probably carry around some mosquito repellent. Well, of course. And I mean, there, there are all sorts of precautions that people can take. So, I, I mean, I, I said this about Ebola, and I was right. If you bring it to the United States, we will find the best solution for it. So what is the solution? Is it coming up with some sort of an immunization, or is it coming, coming up with some sort of a, a spray treatment that we can blanket the earth with? Well, the great thing is both both of those methods are actually being researched. We yeah. have a vaccine that's already in phase one trials in humans, so that's one good thing. And also we have a number of effective ways to deal with the types of mosquitoes that are causing the Zika virus. Mm -hmm. And we are now putting money, at least the states are, putting funding into dealing with this issue. Florida has $26.2 million allocated by Governor Rick Scott mm. that is going to go to trying to control this epidemic or, or this outbreak. It's not an epidemic at all. Uh, this outbreak in this Miami neighborhood. How about whichever uh, private company comes up with the best solution first, they get all the money. Let the free market prevail. I absolutely believe in that. And I... I know that there is a significant competition going on as yeah. to who can produce an effective vaccine first. You're That's right. That's absolutely right, Dr. Ralton. You let those companies fight it out, and the best one, will f they will rise to the top like some delicious whipped cream. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs> I really appreciate your expertise. Thanks for having me, Kennedy. Very good. Let's stay Zika for you and me. Coming up, feel the airline.